the promise of biology now for the future is where semiconductors、uh, were in、uh, 1960 or so. If you can imagine that, there's a huge opportunity to be exploited by taking advantage of synthetic biology and biotechnology. Only if we take advantage of that, the Chinese are are making that bet, investing huge amounts in biotechnology, not just for for health,、uh, but or or agriculture, but across the board, our investments on that kind of Building that kind of biological infrastructure、uh, for progress in the future is, you know, sort of pales by comparison.、It's、number of studies which suggest that over 50 percent of the GDP could be affected by biotechnology, and this is a big deal. But it's aspirational that we could get there, but if we blow it, we won't. From a geopolitical perspective, what this means is you can have localized supply chains. If you can biomanufacture something, you don't have to have a factory someplace else. As Drew likes to point out, when we walk across campus, he's like, "Aren't trees amazing? They can grow anywhere." Right? The leaf development system of a tree is unique to a particular place. Now, imagine you can bio manufacture anything anywhere. We're not talking about supply chain vulnerabilities to China anymore. That's the kind of forward thinking opportunity that the bio economy could have.